girls good morning and welcome back to creating art with mrs hurley i hope you all had a restful uh, memorial weekend and do you know why we celebrated what we celebrated this weekend does anybody i do why we celebrate memorial day is because soldiers who we lost and marine people who we lost uh -huh. why we um celebrate them is because they fought for our country. Very nice, good job. All right, so we are going to create an American flag, um, but not just any American flag, we're gonna create a 3D optical illusion American flag. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So let's talk about the materials we need. You wanna tell them what we need? Yeah, so you need a red and blue markers and a, red, a white and black uh, oil pastels okay. and some pencils and a paper. And if you don't have oil pastels, you can use crayons and it'll work. You can use crayons and it'll work as well. You ready to get started? Yeah. So okay. remember with our optical illusion or creating a 3D image, it takes um, drawing your lines the way you draw your lines to give it that effect. So that is the um, point of this lesson today. All right, so grab your pencils. Remember when we're drawing, we always draw lightly first. So we're gonna start out with three diagonal lines, okay? We're gonna move in from the right side of our paper, put your finger right there, and we're gonna draw very lightly a diagonal line to the other side. So like, like this? Uh-huh, perfect. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, you put your finger here. All right, you're gonna take two fingers at the halfway point of your paper. With your pencil, draw very lightly two more diagonal lines. Now I'm going to continue with my pencil drawing curved lines like a rainbow. On my next area, I start to use a wiggly line, just to give it a more of a, a wavy effect. From this point, go ahead and draw a diagonal line. This will be where our blue square will belong, and we'll draw our stars. Now remember where we drew those two diagonal very light lines? You're going to draw wavy lines to continue the flowing of your flag. The next step that we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding the stars. Now, my students know that I have a very hard time drawing stars. I don't know why. So I made us a template that we can trace. Now, there's nothing wrong in tracing if you have a hard time. Try it first to see if you can draw your star first. And don't get frustrated. Have a grown-up help, help you draw a star out. And then you can cut it out and just trace it, okay? All right, okay. let's start drawing our stars on the paper. The paper. So you can place the stars anywhere you'd like on the flag. You'll notice that we left the square part on our flag, um, and that's where the stars go. Now you want to make it look like you have some stars that are off the edge because if a flag was flying in the wind you wouldn't see all the stars okay so we're gonna do that you got it can you help you're doing a great job I'm very proud Thank of you. you you're welcome here let me hold it for you and then you can trace there you go
we finished drawing our stars. Good job. Now we're going to take our blue marker and we're going to trace around the stars. Okay, so you can trace your stars first so that you know to leave your stars white and then you're going to color and fill in around it. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. So I'm tracing the stars first so I know where to keep my stars from turning blue. So I know not to pass that line. Okay, I think I got all my stars. While you're tracing your stars, I'm going to go ahead and start filling mine. Don't rush though. Okay. Next, grab your red, and you're going to go ahead and trace that first line following that those curves. Yep. And go all the way to the next one. Okay. Go ahead and trace the next. And you're just going to go all the way down until you've traced all your curve lines red. After you're done with your red marker, um, tracing it, you're going to fill in the red stripes. So go ahead, you have about two more lines that you're gonna trace. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in my stripes. The first stripe at the top is going to be white, and then the second is going to be red. And I'm gonna do the same thing, keeping with the curve when I'm coloring. Now we need to add some shading. Okay, we're gonna use our black oil pastel. We're going to trace very lightly with those um, diagonals that we drew. We're gonna trace those lines and then we're gonna start doing some shading. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so very lightly with your oil pastel, just trace down that diagonal line that you drew. Just use some very light um, how do I say this, light horizontal lines next to that black line. So because we have oil pastel and we can smear it, so I'm just making my line just a little bit thicker down. And because we have oil pastel, we can use our finger to go ahead and smear it out. Done. We added the final details to our American flag. We added the shading to give it the optical illusion of it waving in the in the wind. Are you ready to show how it looks like? All right. Here is our final product. Are you happy with your artwork? Yeah. You're fine. All right. Thank you for helping me um, create this American flag and teaching my students how to do it. I hope you had fun. I hope you guys enjoy and have fun doing this art lesson. If you have any questions or need any help with anything, please reach out to me either through Parent Square or email me or um, send me a message on Instagram. All right, you guys. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you back here on Thursday. Bye.